right. Good morning, everybody. Our second uh, spread for today that we're going to put together. This is uh, of our uh, trip to the National Corvette Museum. We were heading uh, down into Tennessee for Thanksgiving and stopped uh, in Kentucky to go to the National uh, Corvette Museum. And uh, there is already a video of how I put this uh, Cricut Cut logo together. Uh, and so you can see that on the channel page. But now I'm going to go ahead and put this spread uh, together. I'll also have a second spread uh, that we'll sh uh, do in a, in a separate video. Because I really want for this logo to stand out, I'm not going to put a lot of other embellishment on the plate or borders because I do want that to stand out. So let's, we'll focus here on the left hand page. And I pretty much laid it out the way uh, that I wanted. I'm going to keep these photos down and close to the corner so that more of the logo is uh, is highlighted. This will be my cut photograph for placing uh, these after I put the adhesive tape on. These are pictures of my parents and I outside uh, of the museum. I don't know if we took these before we were inside or after, but I think it was after. close to the edge that allows as much of that Cricut logo that I put out to, to show up. Now this is a sticker I got at the museum or the, yeah, the museum gift store and I am just going to put this uh, directly onto the background paper. You always have to be careful with this because if you don't get this right it's not coming back up and I've had a couple of them sometimes where I've put them down and I'm like oh it's not straight but there we go. So pretty much that page is done. Now I'm going to work on uh, the right hand page. I'm going to use black to match this border, but I want to border these photographs in ephemera in a light gray so that they stick out just a bit on this uh, black background. <clears throat> if you don't border your pictures, sometimes it just feels like they're just stuck to an empty page and the borders really help give the page some definition and can help the photographs to stand out. So these two are photographs that I took. There we go. And then this is a postcard again from the museum. Um, the reason I like this is it has the title, National Corvette Museum, right on it. And that way I don't have to title the page because it's built into that. This here is actually part of the wristband uh, for the museum that I cut apart. You can see there's the other, the other part of it. Uh, cut it apart. And again, one more thing from the trip that will show uh, where we are, uh, where we were, and the location of what this scrapbook page is about. So there we go. Oops. Okay. I will use. Fisker's circle cutter here to cut this. I'm going to keep this piece because I'm going to use it for one more item. So we'll put that on the page. Now, I did buy a raffle ticket to win a Corvette. It was kind of an expensive raffle ticket, and unfortunately I, I didn't win, but I do have this ticket now uh, to use as ephemera on this page. So there we go. Same thing, use the cutter. I always like to cut the long edges first, because if I can keep strips that are 12 inches long, I can reuse these as borders or decoration elements in other projects then cut it this way. This can end up being a title block for something else. I always keep all of those uh, scraps because you can reuse them. We organize our full pages of paper uh, in, in uh, pockets and then right next to them are all the cuts. So now I just want to figure out what is the best way to put all of this on the page. 
So one of the things I could do is put that there. Um, I just that looks, makes that space look weird. And if I do this, create some black space there, but that's okay because in the pictures there is kind of black uh, or a, a big blank background. So I think I'm going to leave it uh, like that. So let's get this down. Instead of just doing corners on the larger piece, I like to do the points of the compass. It creates a little bit more stability. There we go. And then I just press down on each place where I have the adhesive on the back. National Corvette Museum. This is spread number one. I should be back in a little bit putting together uh, spread number two. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the leftover cuts from this piece to put that page together. So I'm pretty excited about it. All right. Have a great day. Take care.